Hey, what's up, how you doing? Welcome to our tutorial on my channel. In this video, we're going to be learning how to set up our Laravel application because we are going to be using a Laravel and Flutter bug application. So, you know what? Without further ado, let's just get started. So, I'm on the Laravel um, official documentation, official web page. So, I'm just going to click on documentation here. Then, it's going to take us to the documentation web page. Then, we're going to click on installation, then click on your first Laravel project. So, with this there, you don't need, don't don't copy this here. What we want to do is first create our Flutter project. So um, basically, I'm going to open up my terminal. And I'm going to cd into documents. Now I cd into my YouTube. I gotta do Flutter create. So what do you want to create? We want to create our our blog application. So I say blog. All right. So basically, let's wait for this to finish up. Alright, so once that is done now, so what you can go ahead and do is see the into blog app. Alright, so inside this blog app now we want to have our API inside of it. So I'm just going to copy this particular code. This is right there. I'm going to rename this to API. Alright, so this is going to create a folder in our in our um blog application called API. So at least they are going to be in the same file when when I push to GitHub so you can follow everything together. So let's wait for this to finish up. Alright, you can see our project has been created successfully. So basically, you can just open this in Visual Studio Code by doing code dots. Just open up the project for me in Visual Studio Code, and um, as you can see, we have our API here. So our API, which holds the Laravel application, the Laravel API. Here. So what we want to do is now this API here. We are going to open it up in um integrated terminal because we want to set up Sanctum. We are going to be using Sanctum for our API. We are going to set up Sanctum. Go to the documentation again. Then we're going to click on um, packages here. We are going to select um Sanctum, which is right here. Alright, so once Sanctum is selected, go to its installation, then we're going to just copy this particular composer code. Then we are going to um basically paste that right here and click enter. So this is going to install oh sorry, okay. Yeah, I thought I was not in the app API folder. Make sure you are in the API folder when you are running this composer. So this is going to add them um, Sanctum to our uh, API for us. While that is running, we can basically just copy this down. Uh, let's wait for this to finish. All right, beautiful. So it it is done already. Now you can go ahead and paste the particular code. So that is done already. Then uh, what we are now going to do is um basically go to our kernel.php. All right. So what I'm going to do is do Control P. I'm going to select kernel. Dot PHP. Then right on that day, we just have to uh, comment this particular line of code. Save that and yep, so we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and test this. So in this API here, yeah, I don't want, I don't want to run the server in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to head about some the terminal that I was using before. I'm going to clear this and I'm going to see it into API. And I'm going to do PHP artisan serve. All right, so this is going to serve the project for us, as you can see. And uh, what I want to do now, the first thing I want to do is um, control P search for API.php. So we want to create a custom. Um, it's simple you already get here right now. And let's see if it will work. I want to say raw get. All right. So I want to say raw get. So what do you want to get here? We want to get um, the URL that says AP. Um, let's say test. All right. Then I'm going to pass in a function. So inside this function, we can just get a return response. So what you want to return, we want to return a message. Um, blog API. All right. So with that done, basically, you can now go ahead and test this in your Postman. So I'm going to use a um, Thunder client. The Thunder client is an extension for. We shall see the code. If you go to your extension, just search for Thunder, then you'll be able to see Thunder client and go ahead and install it. All right, so I'm going to click on new request. So it's going to open up the new request tab. Then I'm going to just copy my URL here, which is um this URL. Let's copy this. And I'm going to um paste that right here. I remember it's a get request. I want to do API slash test. Right, I believe it's test. Okay, so we named it test. And our header, we just need to pass our header application JSON. Alright, so once that is done now, let's go ahead and click on send. 
you can see we have message blog up here so basically our api has been set up already so the next thing you are going to be looking at creating our admin notification system because basically the well, admin is the only person that can post in our blog application all right so see you next time peace